Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Andor reaction. People have informed me that episode 7 actually isn't part of an arc uh, series. It's not 7, 8, and 9 together. It's actually 7 alone and 8, 9, and 10 that are together. But we're still going to continue on with reacting to three episodes in a segment. So this reaction here will have episode 7, 8, and 9, and then we'll finish off with 10, 11, and 12 at the end. And I'm hoping to get that final reaction of uh, episode 10, 11, and 12 out on the same day, hopefully, that the Andor episode airs. Maybe the day after, though, if I'm busy that day. But yeah, anyways, I've been enjoying Andor a lot so far. And notice how the Star Wars series that people didn't enjoy too much, like Book of Boba Fett and Kenobi, would already be over at this point. I'm pretty sure those were both six-episode series. But this one is only halfway over, so I'm very excited to delve deeper into Cassian's story here and the rise of the Rebellion and Empire as well. So let's hop into it. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed my reactions here on the channel. Leave a like, helps out a ton, and let's go. That still hurts so bad to watch. Oh. You have no prospects for the future. The previous lease, oh my gosh. Calling in the family favor. Uncle Harlow, yeah. Forgot about their whole thing that's going on. <laughs> He's got a little stormtrooper action figures over there. What? The collar. What about it? It's high. You've had it raised. I had it tailored. Everything says something, Cyril. Look at me. I don't believe in myself. I am desperate for approval. <laughs> oh, the news. I think it looks fine. Cyril? The collar looks good. They attacked the garrison. They'll regret it. I can't tell what Cyril's thing in all this is. I wonder if he feels betrayed and he wants to be a rebel eventually, right? Like, that could be a possibility. We don't really know what's going on in his head, but he's clearly thinking of a lot of stuff right now. I think it's quite the opposite of that, though. I think he is wanting to stop Andor as much as possible. The use of any local They're just going to tax everyone for all the money stolen? Oh my gosh. Is cover That's messed up. Activity. I spoke with Emperor Palpatine last night. Oh, did you know? And he's assured me that the ISB will be taking the lead going forward. Dang, okay, so their attempt. I don't know what she's thinking either, oh my gosh. We're playing straight into their hands. True, kind of. Yeah, their attempt at robbing them just made the Empire uh, a whole lot stronger. Was this you? What do you mean? The garrison, hold on. Oh, is it true? Claire was just. <laughs> Jeez, why she she's. So openly talking in there, you gotta go to the back room first. You've always known. I would have thought she was kinda in on the plan as well. I thought she knew about it. The Empire has been choking us so slowly we're starting not to notice. The time has come to force their hand. People will suffer. True, that is kind of smart. Everyone will turn against them. The rebellion will grow. Dang, they thought of everything. I thought maybe that was a misplay on the, on their part, but that's the whole purpose of it. The car is just called a limo. No, no cool Star Wars name or anything. Subtitles just said a limo. This Last place looks depressing. Employee, you'll be surprised. I'm sure. Mulana One. Yes. Look at this rectangle tie. That's so weird. I believe that we have lost for a reason. I fully intend to clear my name and have my record expunged. Or your uncle would approve. Fresh starting. Do, 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 do. New beginnings. We just I love mouse droids. Whoa, what are those robots? Oh, stormtroopers. They're running things now. At ease, attendant. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Sir. Your tunic. Sorry, sir. Ma'am. <laughs> Sorry. I want a record of all missing avionics, comm, navigation, and targeting equipment. For which star system? All star systems. Will do. Dang. She's she's 
She's very serious about this stuff. Okay, we're still getting... Still catching up with these people. It's only two of them left, right? It's only... Oh... That's cool. It's only her and Vel left. She looks so different. He read your message. I really thought he'd be here. He had doubts about schemes, one less thing to worry about. I had doubts from the moment we were introduced to him. Cassian the Andor, who you know is Clem. You need to find him. Find him? We can't have him walking around with Luthen in his head. He's literally one of the good ones, but okay. What was her mission? What was she doing? Did Cassian return home that quickly? Cassian! <laughs> the droid, I forgot his voice. It's so funny. <laughs> Primor took over the hotel. Ferrix is under Imperial authority. That's what happens. You shouldn't be here. To to Tim. What? Tim Carlo turned you in. No oh yeah, I forgot he never he never figured that out. The corpus killed him when they were coming after you. We're getting out of here. We're leaving. To go where? Anywhere we want. I got lucky. I scored. Something's gonna happen to his mom. Be different now. Well, should I say his mom is she's not really his mom. Martha. I do hope the droid makes it with him. I like the droid. B2 emo. <laughs> emo. You get a rest. I'll check up on Biggs. And we'll pull out first thing in the morning. Alright? So the first thing. Best do that. Uh she doesn't want to go. What is but why not? Whoa, that was an interesting alien back there. Everything's blue. I thought th that guy's drinking a blue drink. Nah. It's just the common theme. Oh, the food is shades of blue. What is with blue food in this show? Maybe they all contain milk. I don't know. I just keep looking at that ant back there. That ant creature, whatever that is. I spent a great deal of time. There's another one right there. That was a film mistake right there. <laughs> Continuity error. I'm not sure you're aware how far afield some of us have taken our political allegiances these days. Sorry, I think I've had a bit too much of Perry's Embassy Punch. <laughs> Keep smiling. As if we're having a happy chat about childhood days. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> no. Mon Moth was a lot different than you think, my dude. I've made you angry. No, no, you set me free. I've been wondering all day how I could be sure of confiding in you. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> in Mon Mothma, people think they know. It's a lie. It's a projection. It's a front. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I show you the stone in my hand. You miss the knife at your throat. She needs to get some alliances together. I know they want me. And I want that. Because as long as everyone thinks I'm an irritation, there's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. Do you have an answer to my question? Then I won't. You're better off not knowing. Or perhaps you find my politics a bit strong for your taste. <laughs> Got him. He knows none of this. He's not to be trusted. Smile. There you are. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. <laughs> That's really cool. Knowing how she gets all these alliances together and that's the very beginning of the rise of the rebellion. Make everyone hate the empire. Oh, you have to be like so sure of someone to be able to do what she just did right there though. So I don't think that guy's gonna betray her or anything. Tim? Yeah, this, this really is the last place you should be. <laughs> Why would he think that? I knew it. I said he was probably jealous or something. What happened to you? Oh no, uh. I ran into a wall like I do. Oh, you said Not if Tim. You borrow. I, I blame Tim. Disappear. Your crazy boyfriend tries to get me killed, and I'm the villain. You need to get as far away from here as you can. I'm on Andor's side. He did nothing. Did nothing wrong. I mean, 
in the first episode he did. Coming back here to hide wasn't wrong, though. And you know why it wasn't wrong? Because he was leaving first thing in the morning, right? Wasn't he about to leave? Now, if he came home to, like, stay in someone's house, that would be pretty wrong. It's everything I owe. Son, nurture brother, demon. That's nice. I almost forgot he owed money to people. You know who wouldn't turn him in? Who we need more of? The construction worker guy. I forgot his name. Um, they might have just mentioned it right there, but I don't know which name it is. I like that guy. He blew up our uh, ship as well for him. He's got to be really careful. Construction worker guy. Oh, no. This is not our fight, Cass. Don't worry. They won't be here long. They're just going to raise their silly flag and fly away. This is the clones. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay. That... That explains the trailers. Because I was like, why are there clones in this time and it's a flashback? I wonder if those were actually clones? I don't think they were, right? They're just using the armor. I think there's real people under the suits. You heard about this? What about it? No, Bede played me the news. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, the, the guy is on the van. <laughs> she doesn't know. If you, if he says that he was the one that did the Aldani run, uh, she'll go with him. Because <laughs> he is the rebellion. I've never loved anything the way I love you. And I've never fretted on anything more, but this time... You can't stay, and I can't go. Mm. Tell me you understand. I don't. I don't know what she's planning on doing, though. Like a suicide mission or something? Stop searching for your sister. It's a fantasy. There were no survivors on Canari. What happened there was not your responsibility. You were a child. We still don't exactly know. Marva. If he told her... Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> if he told her, I think she would go with him. She wants to be part of the rebellion that bad. Good news, is it? I'm afraid not. I wish to lodge a charge against a fellow supervisor. Proceed. Oh. I believe our sector protocols, as described in the ISB Code of Conduct, are being violated by Supervisor Miro, and that this overreach, for which she was previously reprimanded, risks compromising Imperial safety to a degree that silence is no longer possible. What's this beef that's going on? <laughs> there was an unusual piece of naval equipment recovered. Miro. The Starlink? You determine her or, is that what it's called? That's the Elon Musk's thing. Access our sector data without ever filing a request. Is that true, Deirdre? Yes. I believe Supervisor Blevin is aware. I have a documented file ready to go. I believe his accusations here this morning have more to do with self-preservation than any sense of urgency. Imagine if everyone in this room played as loose with the rules as you. An excellent suggestion, Blevin. I'm wondering where we'd be right now if everyone here showed the same endeavor as Supervisor Mira. <laughs> I was about to say. For the moment, I'm reassigning the <laughs> sector to Supervisor Mira. Oh, how the tables have turned. <laughs> That's funny. I was about to say, when he was saying, what if everyone else played by those same roles, I was like, that would literally be a good thing. <laughs> you, sir. Well played, GG's. Okay. I know they're going to be against the rebellion and everything, uh, but but I like them. I like Dedra. Neamos. Oh. <laughs> oh, a sand trooper. This is an interesting planet. Oh, old lady, what are the cockroaches? What are, what are those? What do you think you're doing? Uh oh. Excuse me. Keep Don't. looking around. Just trying to figure out what's going on. You a part of it? Part of what? <laughs> Don't play dumb. No, I'm on my way to the store. You need to back up. Part of it. Oh, no. I'll ask the questions. Oh, they're called shore troopers, not sand troopers. Oh, the sand troopers are the other. Yeah, never mind. 
Hey. I'm a Is that the? <laughs> is that him? You got that right. That window is shut. Oh, I got them. <clears throat> going through the store. It's right there. Oh, their powers. It's wait, wait, too much. No, this is crazy. Hang on to this one for me. I want to check the shelter. Oh. Oh. Uh. No, you misunderstand. No, he. He meant watch. No, no, he means watch. Uh. Yo. No watch. Oh my gosh. Their power is running rampant. Dang, that, that was a terrifying scene, actually. The Empire. What did he do? Hey, uh, Keith Gargo. Charges. Civil disruption, anti imperial speech, <laughs> fleeing the scene of anti imperial activity. This used to be a six month sentence. Six years. Six years? <sighs> No, no, wait! I'm surprised they don't like recognize his face or anything. I guess they just stopped looking for Ander. This guy's the only one that knows his face. Oh, he's gonna. F Is he gonna figure out about him? Whoa. Dang. Okay. So Cassian got captured for kind of a, the most stupid thing ever, but I like it. I feel like some people might say that him getting captured there is just kind of like stupid and it's just a way to get him deeper in the in the rebellion because now he's going to want to fight back to get out of prison and uh and all that stuff so it might be like some people might say that's poor writing or whatever but i think it's actually really good writing just because it shows off how powerful the empire is just one trooper a single trooper can ruin someone's life he just got sentenced to six years for literally walking on the beach but i think it shows the hierarchy of the empire very well very well right there but yeah, very, very solid episode. I like that a lot. We got to see a lot of the Empire and what Dredra was up to as well. If, if I said her name right. Dredra? Dredra? I, I forgot. Free my boy Cassian. Uh oh. Get in line. Oh, this is so cool to see, but it's so messed up. Oh, are those all different prisons are going going to? He's gonna see his his he's gonna see Cassian's picture pop up or something, right? I don't know exactly what he does here at that, at the bureau. Jeez! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's kind of sick. I wonder how she's gonna find Cassian any kind of link. And a threat to the Empire. I have been trying with the limited tools available to find him. So this is about public safety. This is so cool, the two underdogs coming together. I wonder how she's trying to find any link from this guy and what happened on Ferex to the rebel attacks. I can guess just because of the star... Starlink device? Narkina 5. Oh my gosh, it's like the raft. There's no way to escape. Oh. Oh, that is cool. So they got little sinkholes around so that really no one can escape. Even if you try to swim, it'll suck you down. Drill down, find Andor, and get a hunt started. Little do they know, he's already in your prisons. Whoa. What's on their shoes? Easy, brother. This may be the last fresh air we ever taste. He did nothing wrong, he just went on vacation. Are those like magnetic shoes that oh, magnetize you to the floor? You'll be transferred to your level assignment and workroom, where your floor manager will explain the details of our schedule and expectations. Oh. Wait. What, did, what happened? Like some kind of sound wave attack? You may start. That was level one of three. Our floors are oh. to its steel. Wait, was I right about magnets though? Is that why they wear those shoes? 
Or they probably got electrocuted actually. Okay, never mind. Uh, imagine putting like magnetic shoes on everyone so they can't really like walk around. Uh, where are you? That was very good. I solved a double murder and found the killer in two days. It was overly ambitious, yes, but time True. was away and the opportunity was real. Service to the Empire. You just said it. That's what he wants. Can one ever be too aggressive in preserving order? It's also clear that whatever this is is more important than the death of two corporate security guards. It could be a valuable asset going forward. What do you want to be, like a stormtrooper or something? <laughs> well, that's scary, always walking around on a floor that could electrocute you. Use it, you remember it. Yes? Yes! What's going on? Where's your partner? I had a tech problem on one. Andrew's already studying them. Like, how do I get out of here? Can I take them all? He'll be here. Override engaged. 5 2. Have the floor. All right, right, step forward, let's go. Move. Step forward and stop now. Move. Stop. Step forward and stop now. Move. <laughs> like, what? What are these orders? On program. Uh, step onto the lift and stop. They got Megatron on the intercoms. There's not that many guards. You guys can take them. This is unit 52D. Level 5. Oh, I did know he was going to be in this. Seven levels of factory, seven rooms per level, seven tables per room, seven men, each table. My name is Kino Loy. I'm the five two. Kino Loy. Shift. Productivity. No guards. Courage. Evaluation is constant. I have two hundred and forty nine days left of my sentence. I have a free hand in how I run this room. I'm used to seeing my room in the top three on the level. You will want to keep that happening. I'm sensing you understand. Problems with another inmate? I'll know before you do. Losing hope. <laughs> I'll know before you do. Keep it yourself. Okay. I didn't retain any of the instructions. Uh, can you repeat those? Yeah, we've been waiting. So what do we call you? Kip. I'm Gembox. Welcome. Zol. Targa. Ula. Ham. Ham. Down ten. Ham is probably worse than the name skin. They've topped it. What are they making? They have lasers in here too. This escape could be could come right away. Uh oh. Uh oh. You better get on that table fives. What are they making? Are they building the bots? Wait, they're building the, the droids, aren't they? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, if they build K2SO here, that would be so funny. <gasps> not for me. No, I'll have hers. You used to. Oh, uh, two squigs again. Those are what the worms are called squigs. Why is he freaking out so much? I mean, he doesn't deserve to be here, so I see why. What? Keep it down! He's just really scared. What's that guy doing? Oh, they, they're communicating with sign language? Huh. Oh! These look like... I don't know, these hallways look like the cloning chambers on Camino. I know they're not, but like, it, that's just what it reminds me of. Yeah, all this. The white lights start flashing, you've got seven seconds to get to your cell. Sensors in the floor, two men in one cell. It's an instant fry. Ooh. The floor is... Oh, no. Watch one of them stay out of their cell. Once the red lights are flashing, seven seconds. There you go. Ooh. Bro, this is going to be a... Uh, Tough escape, bro. I really don't know how he's gonna get out of that. I mean, there's not a lot of guards around, so I already see some of their weaknesses and flaws, but then also once you get out of it, you need to get a ship because if you swim, I mean, you gotta swim pretty far. You could still do it though, but you might get sucked into the vortexes in the water. There's a lot. No, we'd already been married a year. So romantic. Well, At 15. Sure. The old ways of Chandrilla. As was the custom. Thought their cells would have barriers, but I guess not. That's why I told him to not sleepwalk. That would be ooh, terrible. 30 shifts later. Tighten up! 
<laughs> I would uh, I would never be the first one to step on that. <laughs> Do they all just shower in there together? I got a steam shower. That's unpleasant. Just a little bit of mist. That old guy needs to go. <laughs> One breath. No. It's not his fault. It's an old dude. I the boys had to carry you back here. Ooh, it travels fast. She fell. What is she doing? And I think she's dying of something. What was she doing by the hotel? She's obsessed with troopers. She wanted to see if the tunnel under the hotel was still open. Why? So that she's gonna can sneak in and take them by surprise. Oh. Well, at least she's gonna go out with a bang. Oh, she's here. Interesting. Oh, yeah, she is trying to hunt him down. Crazy how when you're hunting for someone, it's not just they could be anywhere on the planet. They could literally be on so many planets. They could be anywhere in the galaxy. They should be floating in space. I just don't understand why Val would want to hunt down Cassian. She's gotta believe him, right? That that Skeen was trying to take all the money. And he kind of saved, kind of saved all of them. Now she's doing this again. I forgot what, what she did here last time. Did she listen in on... Yeah, she did. She listened in. Or made a call. Clay is up to no good. Getting your boy and or hunted down. It's the shop owner on Ferrix. She's trying to find Cassie and Andor. His mother is ill. We're shutting down Ferrix. The code, the frequency, all of it. I'm thinking clearly and you're not. He has carbonite back there. Look at that. This thing's frozen in it. But I don't know what it is. She and Senta. Are they in Ferrix yet? I have a listen. They're being extremely careful with it. The woman's name is Bix Kaleen. Vel could have a look if it's safe. They know what they're doing. I'm not slipping. I know. I just need you to wake up. There's a lot to do. Shut it down. They cut off Bix. I oh, just missed him. Oh my gosh, Corson looks so beautiful. I love the way Corson looks from outside. Oh, this guy. He's gonna wake everyone up. Uh. Who is it now? Just put your pillow on the floor and step on it. The floor is lava challenge. Someone step on his body. Create a disruption. You have 10 seconds to get on your sleeping platforms. That is a really good defense though, like that's that guarantees no escapes. What's They're ringing the bells again. I'm not sure they're all over it. Uh oh. What's going on? They took back in last night. Where? The hotel. He never came home. Why? Because he let her go, go back there? Bix Kaleen. That's your name, isn't it? If not the resemblance, well, it's striking. Get the zombies, run! Get her! Oh. Uh -huh. Get her! Oh my gosh. <laughs> This guy got, I got a role in Star Wars and wanted to make the most of it. <laughs> Segra Milo. Hey, this dude. All right, we're gonna see Saw. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. <laughs> You'd never tell me if it was. Somebody's sitting on some dust. Well, if that someone is you, I'm hoping you'll put it to good use. Would I be out here in the cold if I had just pinched a hundred million credits? He doesn't have his breathy thing on either. I wonder if they always, the people he interacts with knows that he has multiple identities with different hairs and stuff. My people at risk for someone else. We need to pull together, Saw. Whatever our final version of success looks like, there's no chance any of us can make it real on our own. Krieger's a separatist. My pay's a neo Republican. The Gorman Front, the Partisan Alliance, sectorists. Human cultists, galaxy partitionists, they're lost. All of them lost. Lost. 
literally spitting. <laughs> Dang it. I was hoping we would see his legs to see if they're blown off yet or <laughs> whatever. I don't even remember if in Jedi Fallen Order if he had robot legs. I don't know what happened. I'm sure I can look it up. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. This is all her boyfriend's fault. <laughs> Still gonna be saying that. Is that it? That's it. Narkina 5 was the name of that episode. Yeah, well, Narkina 5 seems like a awful prison. I truly don't know how they're gonna get out of that. Um, unless me, I guess like a ship, but that's really the only way. Or something crazy is gonna happen, something completely unexpected. I will say, well, this episode was really, really good, and I enjoyed all the prison scenes and um, basically everything to do with Cassian and the prison and the Imperials in this episode. The Mon Mothma stuff this episode was starting to lose me a bit. It just kept going back to party scenes and party scenes of her talking and talking and talking. And I feel like some of those didn't even need to really be in there, but that's really my only complaint so far with the entire show, so that's good. But yeah, that was one of the longest episodes, if not the longest episode. Yeah, that was the longest episode in the entire show. So I feel like it could have been the length of a regular episode if they took away some of those scenes. Some of them added nothing, I'm pretty, I, like, I feel like. Uh, but all the prison stuff, uh, and even Luthen going to meet with Saw was pretty cool. Although I, I don't know how that's going to develop in the future. Anyways, on to episode 9. <laughs> Dr. Gorst, who's developed a unique... <laughs> the little... The little wave. I'm scared of him. ...a radio hidden in his yard and thought he might cooperate without encouragement. For a man with very little actual rebellious activity on his resume, he was remarkably resistant. Now, this unknown woman who recruited him to the cause... Prior Luthen's assistant, I'm guessing. On Ferex, then she was in using your planet's unique commercial position. I mean, yeah, that is who it is. Pretty sure. You're in my net, Biggs. <laughs> are you a fish or are you a thief? Hmm? <laughs> She's kind of scary. I don't know the buyer. Really? Really. Well, Simon Park says you've had at least six meetings he's aware of. Hey, he outed her. I signal. Sometimes he answers. He comes, he buys, he leaves. Six face to face. <laughs> that doesn't, it doesn't mean she knows him. <laughs> the worst thing you can do right now is bore me. Only boring people get bored. <laughs> Say that to her face, like you're one of the old kindergarten teachers. What kind of tools is Dr. Gorst working with? Oh no. The creepy interrogation doctors are always <laughs> the worst. What are these guys building? I still don't know. I wish it was K2 droids. Or Imperial droids, whatever you want to call them. We're already up on four. I can use a proper nail. Two that's a threat. This dude, Olaf. Short timer. Make a run for the win. He's gonna have a heart attack or something. Oh, the shortest of the short. You swap your idea. Me? No. Stagger. Are you kidding? Good. Wise move. Olaf is going home. You know the drill. And even though he's hard on him, I think he secretly likes Keith. <laughs> He knows he's the one that came up with it. I like the parallel of um, Kino's character being really harsh as a boss for Andor right now, but secretly, I think kind of liking him. And then you got uh, Jedra's ISB, the, the top boss over there, also being like a hard ass on her, but also liking her a lot secretly and telling her to like watch her back and stuff. There's an outer rim moon called Dizon Frey. Sentient species there, quite unusual. Extremely hostile to the concept of an imperial refueling center that was being planned. I say was because they created such a stir that the local commanders were granted permission to use any means necessary. And um, the, the massacre <laughs> of the Dizonites was broadcast and recorded as proof of mission. I don't like Three this. Communications officers monitoring the documentation, and they were found hours later, huddled together in, in various states of emotional distress, in a crawl space beneath the ship's bridge. Found a section of what we believe are primarily children. Which has its own 
Oh no. <laughs> this guy finds humor in this. In the massacre of a entire species. Oh, are you putting headphones on her? What what is that? Yep. <laughs> it won't feel that way to you. Inside. But, uh... Oh no. Sound. Oh, that would drive someone crazy. Sound of children dying. Speaking, just shake your head from side to side. If only humans could just mute their ears. Oh, you can make so many memes out of this. <laughs> Playing like some terrible music in her ears. Oh, I'm glad we're not hearing it. Oh. I don't like that. That is. I'm glad we didn't have to hear it, but like. What is she going through, man? That is. That is actually like so awful. Just on repeat hearing children dying and screaming. I wouldn't even have thought of that as a torture method. What are you doing over here? On program. New man on the floor. Everyone hold position. Hmm, okay. They're they're planning an escape. No idea. I like that. Don't wait. We attack while they're coming down. Now. They'll just go back up. No. Not right now. Stop. Okay, yeah, he didn't mean right now, right now. Uh I don't even I don't even care anymore if she gives her everything. Just You deserve to have this to end. I like how he's in one of their prisons. Are we in the game? She doesn't even know. <laughs> with an hour left. What? What's on now? Dedra doesn't know. Just talked about this. He told you two minutes ago. This old dude's holding him back, big time. The salmon pot. I didn't care. I'd like to hang him. What's left of him, anyway? Make sure they know who's in charge. Weirdo. Oh. That Senate. <laughs> Is there a more important issue facing this body right now than imperial overreach? The Public Order Resentencing Directive is the next step on an all too predictable march toward complete unchallenged authority. I like how that guy knows sign language. Really interesting. Who's the guy he's communicating with? Stay there now. Uh oh. What was that? Oh, power outages could be good though. I could get rid of the electric floor. Or all the floor could light up on at any moment when they turn it back on. I feel like everyone in that tube over there is about to get electrocuted. Level two, far side, level two. Are you all scrambled or something? It takes a week for one word to get all the way up here, and you're all panicking about something that's happening on the other side of the building. Jeez. Any circus is so good. Uh oh. He's so hard on everyone because his ability to get out of here relies on him training all these people to, to do as he says. So I get it. He's relying on so many people just so he can leave in a couple days. He's counting down the days. That's her cousin. Don't worry about. Look at you. The Empire doesn't rest much. This is her cousin. We take what's left. I wonder why they show Mon's daughter so much. Leda is what her name is. Or Lita. I wonder if she's gonna play a bigger role in the future. I'm sure you've thought about it. How many guards on each level? If you want out of here alive, turn that part of your mind off. The escape part. <clears throat> but he was wrongfully accused of six years here. We are nothing to them. Melchi's right. We're cheaper than droids and easier to replace. True. Good luck to you. You think they care what we say? Nobody's listening. Nobody. How many guards on each level? Not a lot, apparently. Like, really, it doesn't seem like they have a lot because they have the electric floors. Nobody's listening! She's the reason Andor came back. Perhaps they communicate. If they are, we'll know. We're on her full time. Okay. 
Well, she's on you too, because she's ready to rebel. If they were fried out, they're all gone. What? Both shifts. hundred men. That can't be right. You heard nothing. What did he say? I don't know. I don't know. Who's saying this? Maintenance tech. We had a team go down. He said they fried the whole bridge. Ah, uh, that's what I said. A whole bridge is gonna fry. They could do that to them at any moment. Now he's gonna want to get out. That's terrifying. At any moment under their feet, it could just fry. We set them all free. Get off! Get off! We need to be careful. The less they think we know, the better. Oh, yeah, he wants to get out bad. Hold your program. That's, that's said it. It's the whole reason for him being this way. It's a rumor. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. We have heard nothing. Just another day, another shift. So let's keep our mouths shut, <sighs> keep our heads down, until we know what's going on. Dang, he's dripping with sweat. It's called cleaning. I like a tidy house. I've been in my private box. <laughs> Her voice is so funny. Imagine I cracked out of the way before <laughs> neglect. Imagine I cracked and wasn't here now to pick up the pieces. I've been promoted. Hey, impressed? <laughs> I knew they'd recognize your prowess. Who is Uncle Harlow? Why do they keep mentioning him? Something is... They're building the something here with these people. But like... But what? Olaf is dwindling. He is fading away. Come on, boys, let's go. Come on. Let's go. I'm there, I'm there. I got it. Uh, Olaf. Oh my gosh. He's gonna get hurt. He's focusing so much on it. Uh, every scene I'm, he's in, I feel like he's gonna die. Remind people that's who you are. We'll try. What have we done, pal? We've chosen a side. We're fighting against the dark. I'm surprised she knew Vel was working with Luthen when she didn't know anything about what was happening in Aldani. I don't know what she thought she was doing with Luthen then. Sir Ocarn. I know who you are. What are you doing here? I... Didn't you say to leave them alone? For the promotion. I had nothing to do with it. Well, my boss seems to think that you did. We simply gave you a clean bill of health. Have you been waiting out here? <laughs> I'd never lie to you. He's so loyal. Actual dog. What you did and what you're doing. And to follow on and try to follow on the conversation we had last month. That wasn't a conversation. You were brought in for questioning. Are you stalking me? <laughs> I thought I had ruined my life. I thought I was done. After meeting you and discovering you understood how dangerous Cassie Nandor was, and just, just being in your presence, I. <laughs> it's so weird. It was worth living. I realized that if nothing else, there was justice and beauty in the galaxy, and if I just kept going, it's my deranged belief that there was something better fated for me in the future was a dream worth clinging to. I could have you arrested. You're aware of that. Maybe Narkina 5? Is that the cage you mean? Because that would get him closer to Andor. Let me tell you. Maybe he wants to go. There you are. Just came in. <laughs> He's just in her office right there. <laughs> That'd be funny. She's Cyril's superhero. We need a Chandra and banker with treasury relationships. Davos Calden. He is not a banker, he's a thug. The wealthiest thug of them all. Don't tell me you've spoken to him already. I wanted to bring you a solution. If you told him that you're feeling constricted by the new tax laws. We've got a rebel pilot in custody, one of Anto Krieger's group. He was picked up at a customs check. We don't think Krieger knows he's gone missing yet. Accident, something mechanical. Have the pilot found dead in the cockpit. What would happen? They'd have to find it, but they'd tow it into Kafreen. If we did it quickly, staged it properly, let it drift into traffic. Make it so top priority quickly and carefully we leave no trace. <laughs> She's just calmly planning, <laughs> planning this really. 
It's really interesting seeing the ISB at work, though. Like, this show does not need action. I just love seeing all the conversation that happens in the, in the universe. Because yeah, they could have just made this a six-episode Andor series, but no, it's just not just Andor. We're getting multiple series all, all in one. Series? Multiple stories all in one series. Olaf. Come on, let's get this done. Olaf. He's not good. Come in, come in. Oh. on program. in place. No yields tables in position. Uh, this old man does not deserve to be here. That is terrible. At least they weren't the, the bench getting shocked. He would have died. You've only got a few shifts left. You're going home. How many? I don't even know if he could take one. There's only one guard with them. Then he got like, it would be so easy to, to get him right now. So I'm to get him up and about. He's tough as an old rock. But you can't save him. There's nothing to save. He's had a massive stroke. Oh, he's completely dead. You feel nothing. Kino isn't liking what's going on. As much as he's against escaping, I think that's going to change. He's passed. Rest in peace, you love. What do you mean? Keep my men in line. What happened down on two? A man who was just released on four ended up back on two the next day. Work got out on the floor and then they killed them all. You need those other men there? They're just leaving. Now. Jeez. If he was released, you heard me. No one's getting out, are they? Okay. Yeah, well, that's definitely going to make them want to stage to, to escape. Asking it again. Hey, oh, he's been keeping track. Is that the end? That's a good ending. I like that. He has been counting. He's wanted to escape. Oh, that's good. That's good. Never more than 12. That's not a lot. You can easily take that. There's how many benches? Like six benches, five people on each bench. You have like 30 men probably. Minus all Olaf, sadly. They had that death shot right there too. They could have just ran to the guard, boom, given him the needle, uh, taken his weapon, taking his shoes maybe. So once they release you, they actually just kill you. You just work and work and work and then die on your release day. That is awful. I still don't know what they're building though. Let me know. It kind of looks like barricades a little bit, like the barricades that come out in different star shapes uh, for like vehicle blocking and stuff, but I really, really don't know. All right, well, next reaction is going to be jam-packed with a lot of stuff. We're going to get the, hopefully, an escape, because that's going to be the end of this arc, which has to end with an escape, I'm guessing. Sorry we didn't get a full arc here. Episode 7 was its own episode, um, but I'm still just doing three reactions in one. But yeah, we're going to get to start the next reaction with hopefully an escape and then a super good double finale arc, uh, which I think could be insane. But as of right now, that last episode isn't out yet. Hopefully I can get those two and the finale out on the day of the finale coming out. Um, so yeah, look forward to that next Wednesday, I'm guessing. But I really like these three episodes here. I think one of them was a bit slower. I forget which one it was. But they're all great in, in their own ways. Again, as I said earlier, it's like this show is just showing multiple different stories and all of them are very entertaining and enjoyable. I think Cyril's story is dying down a bit. Like I was really interested in this character at the beginning, but as it's going along, I'm getting less and less interested because nothing's happening with him. He shows up every episode, sure, but it's like he's not doing anything. 
He got a promotion. He acted creepy this episode. I like that. He was, uh, yeah, you could see his loyalty to the Empire, how much he wants to be either an ISB officer, even I think he'd go for a Stormtrooper if he was offered the chance. I actually think he would become a Stormtrooper. I don't know his, I don't know his place in all this. What is he going to do? Something's got to happen with his character, and we only have episode 10, 11, and then 12 coming out. But so much happens in a single episode that I think he could evolve into a completely different character in one episode, given the chance. But yeah, let's let's think. So next episode, we're going to get the Arkina 5 escape attempt, at least, escape attempt. So they have no more than 12 guards on each floor. They have electric floors, so they got to use things under their feet or shut down the power grid somehow. Andor's been cutting away at a pipe in the wall as well, which could maybe be the power cables to the floor. They already have somewhat of a plan of when they're lowering a new person in. They all rush the guard, get him, go up the elevator and get the other guard. But the hardest part, if there's no ships at the base at all, is that there's a whirlpool, there's whirlpools on the outside and lots of water, but, hope, but luckily they're not in the middle of the ocean. I did see an island off to the side, so they can swim to an island or get a boat maybe. But the whirlpools, dude, there's like six of them surrounding the entire place. That is rough. They have to have, find a way to maybe shut those down because it's it's mechanically driven probably. There's probably machines down there that spin and pull all the water in. Dang, there's a lot to do. And are they going to want to get everyone out of the prison, all different floors? Because no one deserves to be there. And anyone that is just working for the Empire there is going to die in the end anyway. So they might as well free everyone, not just their friends and their floor. Hopefully they could do that, but I, I don't know. Anyways, Dedra over the, the course of this arc here. I liked her a lot in the beginning. I was rooting for her because she was uh, the odd man out at the ISB. No one really had respect for her until she did something amazing for them. Uh, but now she's kind of cruel and and she's just planning and doing some terrible stuff right now. So I lost, I lost respect for her. It's still an interesting character to watch. But uh, before a while, I was like, she's Empire, but I'm rooting for her in a way. Now I'm like, she's Empire, and she's kind of like a Nazi. I'm not going to root for her anymore. So yeah, she's a complete villain at this point. Excited to see more of her in the next finale arc. And um, hoping Andor and uh, Kino can make it out. I actually really like his character, Andy Serkis' character, a lot. So I want to see him successfully escape. I mean, he has to. He has to. Andor is gonna, gonna help him escape, I hope. Anyways, I'm gonna hop into the next episode, I think. And uh, you'll be able to see that next week with the finale and all the other episodes. So this has been a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite episodes in the whole series are. Yeah, that's been it. Leave a like, subscribe, helps out a ton. See you guys in the next video.